Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest, Oh Chicken, Where Art Thou? That can be picked up at the community notice board here in Gungaga. And it's right over there, right outside of the bar. Oh Chicken, Where Art Thou? Client is Grandma Hen. Location, Gungaga Village, Felicia Commons. You wouldn't believe the state of my chicken coop. Poked full of fresh holes because of that black stuff from the reactor. Some were big enough for my little deers to wriggle through and run off. And now I'm scrambling to track them down before some beastie gets to them first. Oh, if only a kind soul would come and lend me a hand. I'll take the job. So, Grandma Hen, not too far from here. Admit my shack's never been in the best condition, but look at it. Holes everywhere. Holes so big that would you believe it? All my chickens flew the coop. I plugged up the holes, but beyond that, I'm at wit's end here, let me tell you. Flapping and running around like crazy. How's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all? I can't keep up with a flock of chickens. What will you do? Ask about the escaped chickens. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, but these two got away. PP and Peep are so easygoing. They stayed right here with me without any urging. But Emily and Pimity and Peppy and Peep, well, they didn't hesitate. Took off like lightning. Ask about the wind. We don't usually see anything like that around these parts. From that black stuff to those bizarre aeroplanes, I tell you all this craziness is enough to drive a poor woman mad. The peace and quiet was the only good thing about this place. <laughs> Offer to help. So we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. They love the sound of this here clanger. Use it and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. My nose should serve us well here. Right. Take it away. Three of them are still in the village. We should start by searching the surrounding area. Guiding the chickens home. Press up on the D-pad to use the feed clanger and lure the missing chickens back to Kazra. Slowly move backwards as you pull the clanger along. If a chicken gets too close, press L2 to yank it back out of the bird's reach. Follow Red 13 and look for the chickens. Let me talk to her some more first. I am going to give the coop a thorough cleaning for when they come back. Wouldn't want them to have a messy home after all. Pippi and Pippity have such fiery spirits. And my dear little Pippily's got a bit of a rebellious streak. But of course, they're all my darlings. Use that clanger I gave you properly, and you should be able to get my chickens to follow you right back to the coop. The key is to do it gently. Coax them along nice and slow. All right, Red, lead the way. The longer you leave these buttes out to dry, the better they taste. <laughs> There. Use the feed clanger up on the D-pad to lure the chicken back to Kazra. All right. The chicken's on the hunt, but too slow. Okay, Red, where's our next one? Of 
over there. Guiding the chickens home. If the chicken gets question mark distracted, stop moving and wait for it to exclamation mark focus on the clanger once more. So we've got an ADD chicken this time. I'm gonna make it a little tougher. Oh. Okay, wait, wait it out. All right, he's back on the hunt. Come along, little chicken. I keep getting like stuck on people or something. I don't know, I'm running into something. All right, he's distracted again. He gets distracted so much. Come along, little bird. We're almost there. Where's the next one? Uh, uh, oh. I can't see who's lively. Red or those birds. Pity I'm not a real cat. Am I right? So what are you then? I'm Kate Sith, fortune teller extraordinaire. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think it might be time to top up the old batteries. Alright, it's another chicken. Guiding the chickens home. When the chicken is ellipses, about to charge the feet clanger, press L2 to yank it back just in time and continue to string the bird along. Alright, so this one is aggressive. He'll also have the old ADD and get distracted. to get re-focused. He hasn't charged yet. That's a little odd. Maybe it's because I kept it so close to him. I don't know. I've never seen him not charge. Oh, here he comes. Oh, almost got it. Little too slow there, chicken. Maybe next time. Alright, he's distracted. Oh, he's right back into it. Oh wait, I gotta go over here. I'm in the wrong spot. Oh, he's gonna charge it. Nope. Woo! Oh god. I'm at out of from Oh, I got him there. Just barely. Pete, I was so worried about you. That just leaves Pippily. Goodness me. How far could she have gone? Pippily ran off toward the airfield. We must find her before the fiends do. <laughs> Alright, Red's got the scent of another chicken. Track down Pippily. Um, before we go out there, let's put Assess back on Cloud because I don't think he has it currently. Or did I put it back on? Nope, I got item economizer. Alright, so we want Assess. Take that off of Tifa, and then Tifa can have the item economizer back. Where'd it go? I somehow missed it. Uh, wait. Oh, it's up here. Never mind. There it is. I was having some troubles. All right, Red. Lead the way. And actually, hold on. Let's change my party. Because I got Aerith and Barrett. Um, but let's do. 
Red and Yuffie. They've got weapon skills I wanna to get. Wanna get mastered. Gates open now. So, what are free flyer pilots exactly? Well, since the Republic's on the scrap heap, Shinra all but owns the skies. Birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Free flyers couldn't they care less though, and go wherever they please. Good for them. Nobody owns the sky, least of all Shinra. Bet our man gives him the finger as he flies by. For real? Sounds like my kind of guy. All right, well, that's for our main quest. Let's just keep following Red. Got Sage and Pearl Ginger Root there, but I'm maxed out on Pearl Ginger Root again. Pippoli is somewhere in the vicinity. Allow me to lead the way. Okay, I thought we were already doing that, Red. way back to town careful now all right it is a long way back to town let's use our clanger actually hold on, let me get a little bit further away use the clanger all right she's focused distracted it's a little worried that was gonna be a little too far distracted again Excuse me. I was leading the chicken. What are you doing here? That is a beefy leprechaun. Well, a leprechaun type enemy. A big bird. <laughs> Man, he's been in the gym. Look at him. All right, let's assess him. It's a leprechaun. Let's do it right. An avian creature covered in scales as opposed to feathers. It lives in forested regions, acting as a guardian that keeps intruders at bay. Grows pressured over time while storing electric charge. Once fully charged, it will counterattack and unleash stun attacks. Staggering it will remove the charge, and it's weak to ice. Right, well, Don't let's it. have you be the, the one we control. And uh, what was it, ice again? Yeah, ice. Let's have you do ice ninjutsu. And then we can do a doppelganger. Now with extra oh, wow. I think he just smashed my doppelganger. <laughs> Get away from me. Ah, crap. All right. Red, you're up. Red's got vengeance. Finish off that stagger, but you know what? Let's just do our heal instead. Watch your respite. Take over. And Clash of Heals while Yuffie's over. getting her butt kicked. It's on you. Ready when you You're ready. having a bad time. Alright, there we go. Got the stagger. Let's do a doppelganger. And then I think she'll. Actually, Art of War as well. Oh! Oh, I wonder if she'd Synergy too. <laughs> That'd be pretty amazing. Probably not. Uh, let's do Art of War, see if she does that. Red, you're up. Do Vengeance Mode. And then we'll do Crescent Claw before it's too late. Eh. You know, let's just do Watchers. Hold that up now. You better make it. Just 
playing it safe with a prey. And back to it. red. Leave it to me. That, for some reason, didn't give me any vengeance. I guess he missed me. Block it. Alright, that didn't give me any vengeance either. What the heck? Alright, you know what? Sidewinder. If he's up. Double gear. Now with extra beguiling ninjas. Okay, let's have. Uh, we could just finish with a synergy ability. Let's do it. We'll do uh, male. Actually, we haven't seen hack and slash. Let's have red thirteen and Yuffie sync up and attack in tandem. See how this looks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, you needn't worry. Their newfound fear of the outside world has driven them home with all haste. You speak chicken? More or less. They were quite eager to return to the village. Kazra must take excellent care of them. We should go too. Alright, report to Kazra. We could ride, just ride back into town, but... Eh, we're not that far. Let's just ride. Get our bearings a little bit. Who knows, maybe we'll even find some treasure on the way. Let's see, I believe it's this way. Yep, this is it. Alright, Kazra, we got all your chickens. Your babies are safe. with you in this place they call home. Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. Say good night, Pippily. <gasps> running free if I hadn't well we all gotta eat oh. <laughs> well what a twist and poor red he's traumatized but he also couldn't resist the grilled chicken all right so we did get a lucky amulet. What does that do? A charm said to lift the wearer's spirits and offer good fortune increases luck by 10. Doesn't seem all that great. You know what might be great now though? Uh, let's see, is that champion belt better than the high power wrist guards now? Because before it wasn't because it's percentage based, but now it could be. It is slightly better. Increased strength by 5% and max HP by 10%. So we get an extra 58 health 
We'll do it. Because the other one was like a raw 250. Actually, let's just check. Make sure I'm not crazy. Yeah, high power wrist guards are 5% strength and max HP by 250. So now the champion belt is better than the high power wrist guards. Awesome. Lovely weather today, truly wonderful. And my darlings are looking quite plump, wouldn't you say? Eat your tummy, just rumble. Stay for dinner. I'm always happy to treat my favorite helpers. Such lovely weather today, truly wonderful. All right, and my have a good are one. Looking quite plump, wouldn't you so say? let's head over to Chadley. We might be able to buy some more materia, and he's got a combat challenge for us. This is your friendly reminder from the youth. Wow. Have you heard of golden plumes? There are a variety of chocobo feather noted for their especially unique luster and are used for both ornamental and medicinal purposes. You should pick up any you find, as certain shops might be willing to trade them for goods. All right, develop materia. Nope, we don't quite have enough data yet. But we do have that combat challenge. All right, what is it? It's Gunga, oh wait, yeah, Gungaga region, Intel level one. A series of three person battles in which you pick your team, engage in simulated combat against a variety of foes who can be found within derelict Mako reactors, Shinra forces included. And that will give rank two poison material. Interesting. Let's do it. We'll do Cloud, Barret, and Aerith. Quick work in this first round. All done. Now we got these annoying crown lances. It's on you. You got this. I'll take care of them. We'll take care of them with Aerith once she's got AP. Build that AP, Aerith. All right, we got the AP. Let's go ahead and smack this one with fire. Right, it's gone. Petrifying beam, that was rude. I hate that you can't tell who they're gonna hit with the lightning. Whatever, let's see if Cloud can maybe hit it. Can you maybe get it, Cloud? <laughs> nope. I really hate these enemies. I've almost got the... Oh, well, Barrett apparently can shoot them. Hey, ATP stagger material improved. Awesome. Got Rangalons. Should be able to take care of them real quick. June on enemies. Ow! What's gonna do? Shot me in the face. Barrett, get some. Get some ATP. Nice one, too. So it's tagging out. Boom. Block that.
Alright, here we go. We got the J unit sweepers. I believe we've gotten those before yet. Yeah. So let's just have Cloud with some ATB. We'll get Merit with some ATB and Aerith start building. And we'll want to drop an arcane ward so we can double cast. Alright. Ooh, he's looking at me though. What's he gonna do? If he's just gonna shoot his gun, that's fine. We'll take the damage. Alright, let's do. Oh, I thought. Oh, that's right. I don't have thunder and arrow at rank 2. I've got fire and ice at rank 2. That's fine. We'll do regular lightning, double cast. Wow, it's ready to pounce. Actually, Barrett's ready to pounce. Barrett, focus shot, please. Did he miss? What's going on here? Oh, whatever. I'll finish it off with Cloud. Braver! Boom! Alright. Barret. Full charge. Aerith. Build some ATB. Oh, uh, she should just be able to... Well, I could hit him or I could hit him. Let's hit the other one. Fresh run both. Why not? Pressure on both, why not? Focus shot from Barret. And it's that off. And you get the limit break. Any last words? All right, that took two minutes and 21 seconds. We got our rank two poison material. And I believe that's the only challenge we unlocked, yeah. All right. Thanks to you, my archives are filling up with combat data. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. So let's head out and explore a little bit. We've really only uh, we've really only seen the stuff on the way to, to the uh, reactor, but not the rest of the area. So we can do a little bit of exploration, see what we find. Oh, and actually, um, let's put some some gear on our chocobo. How we look matters, and do we have enough golden plumes to buy something new? Chocobo, choco, choco, chocobo. We do. We want the treasure hunter visor or the gators? I guess we'll get the visor. Take good care of your choco buddies. So maybe for our green chocobo, we'll give him the gee look. Looks kind of interesting on a green one. Yeah, I like it. Feels primal. Okay, let's go outside. Okay, now this area can be extremely confusing. All the like jump mushrooms and everything, it can get crazy. Um, yes. Deal with that. Keep that in mind. He's trying to ambush me, I'm gonna. Oh, wait, that's why I have to hit him. Uh, Yuffie, do doppelganger. Now with extra the guy with ninja. Oh, that plant is growing like crazy. We gotta do something about that. Art of War! He's ambushing. I can break him out of it. Boom. Alright, Red, do you have vengeance? You do. Ah, no time. It's payback time. Didn't have time to heal. Oh, well.
All right, so let's see. We got some of those weird chimera things over there. I get lost out here a lot. So I'm trying to get my bearings. We've got this suspension bridge over here. Let's go ahead and take it. And we'll head up the hill. And this is Magon Hill. Okay. Doesn't seem all that special to me. Oh, we got a baby chocobo! Where's your stop, little guy? Wait, did he just turn on me? Crap, I lost him. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Here we are. Fix that up for ya. You're welcome. Alright, another golden plume. Uh, let's see, so I actually want to go up the hill here. Maybe this shroom will get me where I need to go. I think it will. Let's see. Yeah! And you can see we've got one of those um, sanctuary crystal things, and we may as well take out this grand horn. Lethal haze, no thank you. Take the lead. Red, you're up. Oh, I didn't see the plant there. Oh, I'm taking damage there, it's fine though. Watch this respite. Double ganger. I rarely ever see my doppelganger. I like summon them and I feel like they're gone like instantly. Oh, there they are. Okay, they just blend in. Oh, look at that doppelganger action. He's mastered the ability. Alright, so that's mastered. Now, do we actually want to keep that weapon on her? We might. It seems pretty good. The Bird of Prey. Let's see. 59 physical attack with 49 magic. And all those materia slots. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Let me grab these materials right here. We got Planet's Benison. Splendor. Legend holds that each time Kujata appears before humans, it takes on a different form. It's been seen wreathed in raging flame, cloaked in chilling ice, and bathed in crackling lightning. For this reason, the people of Gangaga have worshipped it as an embodiment of nature and self for generations. Got some more materials, venison, and splendor. And this is Divine Intel 2, Kujata Sanctuary. Attempt to analyze the Kujata crystal? Yes. We got circle, circle, square, square, XX. Commence. Circle, circle, square, square, XX. Jata is pleased. Splendid synchronization. Let's hope our investigation of other shrines goes as smoothly. All right, bring in the bird. Let's keep looking around. Yeah. 
All right, well, we've got a tower over there. I guess that'll be our next target. Oh boy, how do we even get down? Can't jump. Probably jump here, maybe? Yeah, over here looks good. There we go. Or, or not. That doesn't like that either. Ugh, all right, how do I get out of here? Like I said, I get lost in this place all the time. Oh, actually, it's just a ramp over here. Oh, frogs! Beat the frogs up! Beat up them frogs! Yuffie. Art of War. I will walk. Just like that, okay? Very nice. Alright. Where'd our tower go? It's over there. Now, even this tower is gonna be a little tricky to get to because it's not. Nothing's ever like a straight shot in this area. So, we gotta figure out a way to get up there, which means we definitely need shrooms. Perhaps this one over here. Oh, you wanna fight? Let's fight. Deal All right, you're up. Get that vengeance, Red. Fine. Okay, counter attack me, that's fine. Well, not with that. You attack me with something I can block. There you go. Alright, watch your respite! Sandra! Raver Smarsh! Both blocking, jerks. You're done. Break yourself. Keep it together. Hold that thing down now. I warn you. Red is ready. Oh my god, Red. That was some good damage. I may as well do another watch and respite. I'm surprised he hasn't mastered it yet. Do I really not have that mastered? Or did I just forget? No, nope, I'm still working on it. Okay. All right, I need my bird. We got some sage and oregano there. Is that gonna bounce me to the right spot? No, I don't think it is. All right, so what's the, oh, I guess, oh. Well, that was much easier than I thought. This mushroom will take me there. All right, more enemies to fight. Do it. They're trying to replicate them, I stop them. No juniors for you. Take the lead. Ready Attack me. Can I block that? No, not if he doesn't shoot it at me. Barret! Why are you getting involved? Alright, whatever. We'll just do that. Flash! Up we go! Okay, two boxes. We got a Moogle Metal and a High Potion. We can climb up this rope.
All right, that gave us Fiend Intel and and a Life Spring. Maybe we'll hit up that Life Spring first. It's over there. But we'll have to find a way down. And then I'll probably get confused. Oh, this actually seems to be leading right towards it, so good. That'll make it easier. All right, shoot me right next to the Life Spring. That's what I want. Oh, it did. Nice. Ask and you shall receive. How do I get down there? Over here. All right, a whole bunch of materials for us. More over here. Okay, and let's analyze. Life in Gungaga. The village of Gungaga lies at the heart of the humid jungle, where many species of moss fern and mushroom thrive. Its people have a long tradition of self-sustenance, growing only enough produce and raising only enough livestock to support their collective. Though the village is by no means commercially enterprising, the Gungaga mushroom endemic to the region is renowned for its rich aroma and commands a high price. Gungaga's fortunes took a turn for the worse following an explosion at the nearby Mako reactor. Though much of the jungle was temporarily declared a disaster area, due to its elevated position, the village itself escaped the worst of the fallout. A small mercy considering the devastation wrought below. Okay, now let's make our way over to that fiend intel. Let's see, how do I get out of here? I guess we go up here. So, I believe it's this way. Where's my tower? There's my tower, so it's on the other side of the tower. Can I jump down? No. Can I get down without climbing? Perhaps. Or perhaps not. Yep, I can get down over here. All right, nope. See, this is the problem with this area. I, just, I never seem to navigate it. Ah, dang it, now I'm down here, so I gotta go around again. All right, so I did see that spot to, to slide down the rope. Or actually, can we go this way? Let me go this way. This will work. Or maybe not. All right, whatever, I'll climb down. Come here, bird. All right. Okay, my tower should be this way, if I'm not mistaken. You guys won't fight? Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it right. Oh, there's my fiend intel. Let's see, I think I can follow this around. Yes. No. Maybe it's over here. Lead to it. Yeah, it's over here. Alright, now. Dang it. Be over here? No, that leads to the airstrip. Okay. Oh, that's right. I think we have to jump up to these two. Yes, we do. Uh, Alright, let's figure out how. After we beat up these grand horns. They looked at me funny. At least we're gaining one. You're 
to take that bouncy mushroom and maybe we go this way oh yeah and I think we take that one over there yes this is how we get to it my sensors indicate the presence of a unique life form Rare Grand Horn variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Generally speaking, Grand Horns are peaceful creatures, which use their claws not for combat, but for unearthing insects to eat. During mating season, they pair off to build nests and raise their young. Those unable to find partners eventually take up the role of protector, guarding the nests of others and keeping the newborns from harm. Their crimson coloration is a warning to all would-be trespassers out. The social structure of Grand Horn communities is definitely worthy of further investigation. Alright, defeat all nearby enemies. We need to pressure an enemy, stagger an enemy, and defeat all enemies within the time limit. Let's get started. Okay, let's get the assess. Too bad. A rare Grand Horn variant that grew skilled in battle in order to protect its community. The liquid it secretes from its claws doles its enemy's movements. Attacking it twice while, the, while it is guarding will cause it to counterattack. Hitting it with powerful offensive abilities while it is guarding or counterattacking will pressure it, though only ranged attacks are effective while it is counterattacking. Counter it's weak to fire, so let's just build ATB and we'll wait for them to block. We can get them. Like so, um, let's have Yuffie do it. You ready? She's ready to go. Oh, well, she was. Taking over. It's fine. All right, Yuffie, I want you. That's A, I think. Let's see. I want you to do Art of War on A. There we go. All right, so we got the pressure done, and then focus thrust on A. And we got the stack. Now we just gotta kill him in time. Which is gonna be easy to do. Alright, Red, you're up. Try to get some vengeance, Red. Actually, you know, I'm gonna break him out because I think he spins. No, that'll work. Vengeance mode! Give a crappy watcher's respite. Come on, take over. Another new combat challenge, you say? Let's go do it. So, you see the area we explored over here? Let's go back to Gungaga. Oh, they put me near Chadley? Where am I? I'm turned around. Oh, I am near Chadley. All right, cool. It's like it new. Enjoy your stay with us. Reactor's finally done kicking up a fuss, huh? I hope so. Your efforts have yielded an astounding amount of data, Cloud. Perhaps you would like to use it to develop materia? Oh, and yeah, I would have enough data now for materia, so yeah, we'll get magic focus materia. Increases the potency and duration of spells with the linked materia. And rank one is 5%. Gimme. Alright, and then combat simulator.
All right, we have Gungaga Battle Intel rooted in the planet. A series of three-person battles in which you pick your team, engage in simulated combat to procure more biological data about fiends nourished from the jungle's rich deposits of energy. And this gives speed up material. That's interesting. Uh, we'll go with the old trusty crew, Cloud Barrett and Aerith. All reliable. Right, we got grand horns and a plant. Focus on that plant. Will you stop making my attacks bounce? I'm trying to kill this plant over here, not you. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Barrett, I'm gonna need you to take care of that flower because Cloud's having all sorts of issues. Maximum fury on the fight flower. Aerith! I think Good they're weak to you. fire. Let's find out. Oh, they are definitely weak to fire. <laughs> he got blasted. Oh, materia leveled up. Magnify. Ooh, magnify leveled up. That's awesome. Yeah, Goodbye, Grand Horn. So wow, Iris damage. Brutal. Alright, we've got orcs and one of those Noxicaps. Haven't seen those since the first area. They're not quite as strong as they were before. Barrett, finish him off. We got the boss Grand Horn dudes that we just fought. Alright, wait, are those the ones we fought or are those different? No, they're the ones we fought. Okay. And then a boss flower. Who is, again, is going to be a pain to take down because they keep messing with my attack. Flavor, we pressured it. We got the stagger. Uh, oh, he's blocking. Bad move. Pressured. Let's switch. To Barrett. Uh, let's just have Aerith blast this dude. Fire off. Oh, my goodness. Aerith too strong. Can you take over? Hey. But not in terms of defense. Claude got beat up good there, but cross slash I imagine will finish him off, especially since his blocking is a bad move. Yeah. Didn't quite get him. But there we go. Not looking good. All done. All right, that took a minute and 44 seconds and we got our speed up materia. And uh, it would be great to give Cloud speed up materia, but he doesn't have enough room for it. Maybe we give it to Tifa. Are my trials not challenging enough? I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Maybe Tifa. Let's see. I'm sure we can make room on Tifa. Oh, definitely with the item economizer in there. Uh, let's see. Her ice is almost maxed. MP up, AP up with her HP. Let's drop item economizer and give it this uh, speed up. Increase speed by 5%. Alrighty, so 
we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.